Okay, so another one of these where I film and record at the same time. Film and record at the same time. <laughs> to give you an idea of where things are, I've just finished editing and uploading the video where I started building the pumpkin. And I was right, it was a much smoother process to get the video edited and then I could do a quick variation for the daily shorts that I post as well. Anyway, so today, a couple of things in mind. I've started this build and it's big and overbearing <laughs> and I just don't want to look at it right now. I was thinking, I mean, it's just, it takes up the whole view of the pumpkin. I'm not sure how in love with this build I am. Uh, it nicely contains all the villagers that are in the holding cells. I'll give it that. But it is a really big build. And I'm thinking I might actually completely change this and tear it down. And start again. Because, I mean, part of what's just happened with Minecraft Live is the introduction of the new version. And so my thought was to have a sort of library build that is set up and ready to go with the current bookcase blocks. And then I can swap them out for the new ones that are coming in and get all my enchanted books that I've got in there and store them in a nice fun new way. Kind of, it's good to have things crowded together a bit, but also this 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 is just too big and it's it's not working for me. The dome's coming along nicely. Still need lots of copper to mine for that. Might do a little bit of that today. And then these two are also working. However, there is some cobblestone here. It's not going to change into the moss when that gets bone meal. So I need to get rid of that. But now that's working fine. That's good. And we can check on things. There's some, some bone meal coming up. And into the tree farm. Uh, so all of this with the end goal of having big pipes coming from all of my farms into the big base build where I'll have a nice big item sorter here on the back and we'll have pipes coming in and through and around and all that kind of stuff and it'll be retrofitted classical building that some crazy mad person has come along and wrecked. Okay, so let's look at what I actually need. So I need a build to go around this. I need a build to go around this. And I need builds to go around these as well. So the mushroom farm is probably the oldest farm and structure that I've built that I haven't finished off yet. A lot of people would say this is not finished and you're, you're probably right. And I suspect when I'm having a day, I will go around and I'll do lots of decoration and bushes and stuff. But the functional, it covers up the nasty looking farm sort of build. That sort of functionality is there. So I need to keep moving. Now I do need to... <laughs> Go through these shulkers. Oh dear. Let's uh, do a quick sleep. And then, what should I do for the mushroom build? Mushroom build. The mushroom build. My thought was always to have a kind of tower. I guess I could do a stone tower because we've got wood, 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 wood roofs. Let's have a look on this. There we go. So that's over three months worth of it slowly farming. That's fine. The intention for that is to be helpful in making a slime farm. Thinking that I'd probably find a swamp nearby. I did not end up finding a swamp nearby. So now I've got lots of mushrooms. But I still need to cover up the build. So my thought was to have some kind of building with like a little outhouse attached to it. And I guess I could still do that with a little tower. Okay, let's see what stone I've got. Let's see what we've got to hand. So we've got lots of black stone, uh, lots of cobblestone, andesite, stone. I think that might be a, a way to go. Or obviously granite. I've got lots of granite. Don't know how I feel about using it for a build though. It's kind of weird. Might go andesite, a bit of stone, and a bit of cobble. Yeah, we'll go with the sort of the stony stones. Stony stones? We'll go with the stony stones. <laughs> to do sort of somewhat rounded corners something like that yeah that's all right it comes out to this which then would be a wooden thing a little wooden outhouse something like this have like an extra slightly long entrance thing there i mean we'll match it with that even do this Something like that, should be fine. And then 
some wood to build the little outhouse section. Probably go with some, maybe some birch. Do I have any birch? I got a little bit of it. Okay. I think the lighter colour might go with the stone colour. Let's go have a look. Got an axe. I can always go chop a few birch trees down. I like the little off cut corners as well. Connect it like that, I guess. And then we've got a little outhouse situation. A little sticky out of it's kind of out of place. We can do that. There we go. And then that can have like a little low roof. So it only needs to go up a few blocks. Let's see how far what I've already got will take me. That is honestly as high as it needs to be. So, oops. Okay, run out. So let's go get some birch. I'm sure there's some nearby. Oh, look, there's some. Um... This is an area where I've been deforesting anyway. So uh, I'll continue that theme here. But that should be more than enough of those. Cool. Um, and I'll do the roof sloping this way all the way down. Yeah. I always love just rocketing around, even when it's completely unnecessary and saving me a second or two. <laughs> Not seeing any spruce here. Okay. Let's go get some spruce. <laughs> So as I mentioned a little bit earlier, um, I did watch Minecraft Live the other day when it came out and it was a bit of a mixed bag in my opinion. And I think that's the, the nicest way to put it. It was, um, it wasn't disappointing, but it was definitely a bit underwhelming when in the past they made, you know, there's a big themed update and it's going to have all of this stuff. And it's going to be great. And there was sort of none of that this time. Which was their way of saying we've learned from our mistakes in the past of over-promising. Which is nice. But it left a very lacklustre feeling, I think. When it came down to the actual content of uh, the update. So, it'll be interesting to see what actually comes out. Because they've, they've hinted that there is more than what was shown. You know, the camels are cool. The bamboo blocks are cool. Everything's fine. There's nothing like that's. There's no disappointments. Put it that way. But the stuff that they've shown is very underwhelming. New default skins. That's fine. All welcome additions to Minecraft. I guess at this point it's just one of those. We'll have to wait and see what they actually finally come up with. Being that it is now an unthemed update. <laughs> sort of a. They've sort of backed themselves into a corner where. They've kind of generated hype in that the theme will be even more exciting and that there's more that they're not telling us. But I suppose, yeah, the problem being that this is, you know, Minecraft's big once a year event that they always hype up to be big news coming, big changes coming, you know, all this kind of stuff. And they use the event to basically advertise their other Minecraft games that are coming out, it felt like. And like the community highlights that they do, it never quite feels like it's never any part of the community that I've seen. So I don't necessarily feel like... Okay, so when they had like the Hermitcraft group on uh, at Minecon, that was really cool. And that was like something I can connect with because that's a group that I enjoy. And it's a group that I draw inspiration from because um, the members like Green and Mumbo had been pretty absent for a little while. And sort of the messaging was just, oh, they're just, you know, taking a break and whatever. And they did and they came back. And like Mumbo came back today. But I joked with, with my wife because it was around that time that I started making videos. I was sort of saying, well, I should totally, you know, throw my hat in the ring. And I can be the new guy on Hermitcraft. And I'll uh, go in and I'll be really bad at the game at everybody. And then it just seemed a bit inappropriate when one of their members did actually pass away. It was sort of like, ah, that's, uh, maybe, maybe we shouldn't be putting that kind of energy out into the universe. And instead just sort of uh, take a step back from that kind of joking around. Because, yeah, just, I don't want to be disrespectful or anything like that. Especially for someone that had actually been a part of that community since basically its inception as far as I know. Yeah, Tinfoil Chef, he was, a uh, he wasn't the biggest or the loudest but he was definitely one of those people that was always there what is going on okay so a llama just lost a fight to a zombie okay 
It's all right, mate. I got him. You got anything good to sell? Melon seeds would have been nice a long time ago. Bucket of puffer fish. Fantastic if I'm early game and I haven't got any good source of iron yet. I've got the ability to, you know, trade sticks with a villager or something. Oh, God, I did a lot of that. This used to be all trees, didn't it? Giving myself a flashback. Okay, so I'm thinking some spruce roof here to make up this little doorway thing. Something like that. And then that can join up there. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So I think I'll probably just get this build done for today. And that will be roughly where we leave things. Trying to think of other things to talk about. Oh, the, the mob boat. That was something I wanted to sort of bring up. I sort of had an attempt at sort of when I was uh, streaming on Twitch, which I stream live on Twitch once a week. Everybody should come check me out live on Twitch. Smileytron. Twitch.tv forward slash Molytron, come check me out. Um, <laughs> I was having a frustration with the mob boat. And it's something I think a lot of people agree with. It's just sort of one of those things that we have to deal with. Because the mob boat is always so... It's very frustrating, I think, is the word. Because the actual information about what the thing is and then what it actually ends up being is usually very different. It's this unfleshed out feature that we're expected to be able to guess how good of a feature it will be and then vote on one of three potentials. It, it's I'm trying to think about ways I could help sort of solve that problem. So yeah, my thought is we could vote on the different aspects of a mob rather than the actual mob itself i mean we could even like oh that would be cool as a community we could construct the mob through a series of votes say you know no more than three votes i think and you could do live ones on like twitch so you could poll the community that's currently live and then go okay we, do we want a sea creature a land creature or an air creature i think the problem is also that some of the older mobs are so useful like the creeper it is so useful for getting gunpowder for tnt and rockets that to introduce a mob that is equally as useful or even almost as useful i mean it would require probably adding in several game features that aren't even thought up yet i don't know i think i think i'm on the right path of voting for aspects of the mob rather than the finished mob so that the, the community can design the features of the mob and then it's up to Mayang to actually come up with a design of a creature that can do that. And that's definitely well within their capability because they're very good at designing the new mobs and stuff. They've all been, you know, had an interesting look about them. There's never been one that I've gone, that looks terrible. They're all, you know, cute and Minecrafty, and they've got a, you know, they share the decent aesthetic and all of that good stuff. All of those lovely words that you like to hear when you're designing something um yeah i'm feeling quite tired so it's quite late and i've had a very busy day so let's just get this build finished and we will reconvene tomorrow oh also any overwatch 2 fans out there been enjoying that quite a lot lately i did enjoy the first one and the second one is essentially the same as the first one so it's not a surprise that i'm enjoying it that clattering is a good sound all of the trapdoors activating beautiful so it's a yeah it's got a spider hanging off the side of it stop that might go <laughs> let's go sleep that was a lot of bad guys <laughs> okay tick that box that's a nice little build Oh, we'll probably need to do some doors and stuff. Yeah, there's mobs hiding in there now. So I need to light it up and put some doors down. But for now, I think that will do. Yeah, so my current target is to have as much of the building done before the 100 days. Currently on day 90 something. So I think I will work on the dome and then this will have to wait till after. But I'm planning to do like a big world tour and we'll talk more about that on day 100 i guess so until then thanks for tuning in i'll do my little front facing guy what's what do you say click all the buttons on youtube and everything subscribes and likes and comments it all helps make my videos go out to more people so if you can do those things that'll be very very helpful thank you very much and until next time i will see you later goodbye <laughs>